have been associated with Las Vegas. But there's one Las Vegas legend you might not be so familiar with, the Moulin Rouge. In 1955, she was the first fully integrated hotel, casino, showroom resort in the United States. It was the most exciting experience I'd had at that young age. It was a huge monumental hotel and a huge deal. Oh my God, where am I? <laughs> I had never seen nothing like it in my life. I never had seen an integrated casino before. So the Moulin Rouge brought that black and white together and everybody realized we could all have a good time together. I'd like to thank the NAACP for this wonderful trophy. I just thought, oh boy, God has really blessed me. And I enjoyed working there until the, oh, about November, I started hearing things. The place was gonna close. They had no idea, no warning. It just closed. And it wasn't because they weren't making money, because that is simply not true. The places were packed 24 hours. They were doing business on a Sunday night, and Monday morning the sheriff had locked the doors. You know that it did happen, and you know how it happened, but you don't know who called the shots and who gave those orders. Why did she close? And was the Moulin Rouge excitement really that special? We'll separate fact from fiction and take a closer look at the Moulin Rouge, the Las Vegas misunderstood legend.